And when you go to verse 8, for one is a given word of wisdom. Can we say number one? Yeah, that is a gift. Through the, the Spirit, uh, it's another gift. I will describe it sometime. What is word of wisdom? Number two, to another what? The word of knowledge. Through the same Spirit, that is the second gift. Next one. To another, faith. By the what? The same Spirit. That is gift number what? Number three. To another, gifts of what? By the what? That is gift number what? Number four. To another, the working of what? Of miracles. Number five, gift. To another. Number six. To another. Descending of spirit, number seven. To another. Different kinds of tongues. To another. Interpretation of tongues, number nine. And there are nine ingredient fruit, nine gifts, but I will explain that one. It's nine gifts that are in First Corinthians 12 and nine. But one and the same spirit, but one and the same spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually as he wills. Mm -hmm. Go down. For as the body is one and there's many members, but all the members of that one body being many are one body, so Christ is. But if you check the reason why all these gifts are given that we read there, it's for the profit of all. Now, when I am a singer, my gift is not for me. You are never gifted for yourself, but it's for you to enjoy. Tell someone else to say, my gifting my ministry is for you to enjoy. Now, ushers, look at me. If you are a gifted usher, your ushering is for me, it's not for you. So, which means if I am an usher, I must learn to smile at people, to profit all. Some don't have smiles at home. How are you? I welcome you to Eagle Life Assembly. Can you follow me? I want to give you somewhere to sit. Can you sit next to that one that is sleeping in the church? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, when an usher welcomes a person, hmm? ushers, look at me. Are you hearing me? And you smile at a person. That is ministry. I have already ministered that person before prophets minister. That person will love to be in the church and will listen to me that I have never been welcomed like this. Do you know there are some of you who are seated here today because of the welcome you received from an ash? And you said, I will never leave this church. So this usher who is receiving the word, he has profited the church the ministry of God because the usher has shown the fruit of love and joy. Now, if you are a musician and you are singing in the church, you don't say, hey, why are you not lifting your hands? Are you foolish people? I have seen some musicians. We are on a worship night. We are not jogging here. We practiced for five days. And you are coming here and not lifting your hands. Lift up your hands. Manja, manja, so. Chop, chop. Let's worship. Glory is to God. Worship, how will it move? Because already I have not shown the fruit of the Spirit in how I am doing things. And now my gift becomes useless because it's not seated on the fruit. Now let me demonstrate. All of you, can you run on the pulpit? Run on top of the pulpit. The fruit of the, the, fruit of the nine of you. Uh, <laughs> the fruit of the Spirit is not confused. It knows the stairs. <laughs> can you go? I want... Can you come? 
Let's say this one is a gifted usher or a singer. All of you, can you crowd and kneel? Become a bunch. Go down like you are crawling. Go down. Can you run on top? The fruit of the Spirit is the foundation of every ministry. Sit on top of them. Come here. Come here. Can you go next to each other, please? Put your heads together. Sit on them and face us. All of you, sit on top of them. <laughs> this is the position every person in the church, whether a businessman or whoever, you must be seated. And the Asha must sit in this position. If you are to be a man, Anonze Munuamari, a true man of God, is one in that position, not miracles. Amen. That position, your gifts must rest on the fruit. Now, if we, if we remove the fruit there, the gifts of God are without repentance. What it means is, if I am a prophet today, you can be shocked if I backslide, I will be a traditional healer. That's why you have heard many prophets, I'm going to prophet Burombo, now he's a traditional healer. Do you know what has happened? The foundation is what changes. The fruit, the devil, the gift does not change. But what changes is what is under. They start to come pornography, raping, of women, lust, wickedness, and all fruits of the devil. They, and they also, false prophets also sit in that position. But what is there, it's not the papers that I have given, because there, there is love, there is long suffering, there is patience, there is everything, self-control. A false prophet can sleep with someone's wife, but a true prophet only brings down his zip when he goes to his toilet or to meet his wife too. To the toilet and to your wife. And not to someone's wife. So every Christian must rest like that. Sit on them until they have the fruit of the Spirit. <laughs> This is what I want every member of Ego Life to become. We must all have the fruit of the Spirit. Can you clap hands for them? I think they are now baptized. So in Ego Life, we want everyone that is here to have love. Love, can you run, go down? Love, can you run, show people? Can we clap hands for love? Let's clap hands for love. Love, run, 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 love inside to show them we want love in the church. We want love in ego life in the mighty name of Jesus. In ego life, we don't want people that disfigure their faces. People that look like they were forced to come to church. We want joy. Can joy run? We don't want the people that gossip and fight each other in ego life assembly. We want peace in the house of God. Oh, can we celebrate peace? 